Hey guys, I'm Phil Tegan here with Behringer. We're hanging out at Life is Beautiful where I just finished a set with Pete Yorn doing his monitors as a monitor engineer. From a monitor perspective, I actually set things up. I set all my auxes up as post fader, which is kind of unusual. But what I like to do is kind of get a very broad musical general mix on the left side of the board, which is, you know, the channel specific side of the board. And then I basically from there make tailored adjustments per person using the sends on fader feature. And basically each stereo aux end or link is set up to be a different mix for one of the in-ear packs that the artists have. One of the things about the X32 that I love that really separates it from the other boards at the price range is the ability to use it with like an iPad or uh, other mobile devices. Another great feature is the editor, which you can download on the Behringer website that allows you to basically make changes to the board offline and save them to a USB drive, say, and pull them up. I used it today uh, while I was flying here to uh, make the final changes to the input list and everything, and it really it worked out. Everything was plug and play when I got there. One thing to look out for when using monitor wedges is feedback. And one of the things that I like about the X32 is that it has an overlaid analysis of frequencies. So you can tell what frequencies are ringing back and basically lay your EQ curves over top of this real-time analysis. Before we hit the road, we had a couple of days of rehearsal at which time I kind of built show files on my X32 and another console that I'd say it would be about 10 times the cost of the X32. And I had this moment where I was kind of standing there and looking at both of them and being like, sure, there are differences, but generally speaking, like this would blow the mind of anyone and they can both kind of do the same things, essentially. Virtual sound check is amazing. Uh, you've probably heard that before, but basically being able to dial someone's mixes in before you actually see the person based on, you know, pre-recorded files or whatever you have. That's a function that's easily accessible using the USB function on the card. The features on the X32 allow it to be functional in a number of ways and basically universal in the sense that you could record with it. You could play back with it from Pro Tools or whatever. You could also play live, you can record live, you could use it, you can mix as an artist on stage using the wireless capabilities. There's really no limit to what you can do with the X32. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Phil Tagan. Feel free to hit me up on philtagan.com, uh, recording, mixing, producing. Uh, thank you so much, Behringer, for coming out here and doing this. I had a great time. I love your products and I love your board and I couldn't be happier to be here.